Good morning, all. We are all familiar with Mendelian inheritance, which is intra-allelic inheritance. Bhi kehte hai. It is a genetic inheritance that occurs between two alleles of a single gene. For example, gene hai height and it is represented by two alleles, the dominant T or the dwarf small t. Ye dono alleles homologous chromosomes pe located hai aur ye gene jo phenotypic trait height hai usko control kar rahe monohybrid cross mein the ratio obtained would be 3 is to 1 and for a dihybrid cross the ratio would be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. However, non-Mendelian inheritance which we also know as, known as inter-allelic inheritance it is the inheritance where the non-homologous genes they are found on same chromosome or different chromosomes and they interact for the expression of single phenotypic trait of an organism. Here it is very important that the two genes are non-homologous chromosomes. Pe hai. And there are many examples of non-Mendelian inheritance, for example, incomplete dominance, complementary genes, supplementary genes, pleiotropic genes, to name a few. In today's lecture, I shall be taking complementary genes. Now, what are complementary genes? There are, there are two pairs of non-allelic genes which interact to produce a phenotypic trait. But neither of them, if present alone, produces the trait in the absence of another. Bettison and Punnett studied this inheritance in Lathyrus odoratus, which we call as sweet pea, and they obtain the phenotypic ratio of 9 is to 7. If you see this cross, there are two phenotypic colors, traits, the white flowers, which are controlled by two different genotypes, this and this. The white flower color, it is controlled by two non-alleles, the capital C and the P gene, which are located on different chromosomes. Agar ye ek hi allele dominant hai, jaise idhar, and here the P is dominant, so the color of the flower is white. However, when both the dominant genes, they come together, they complement each other and the color of the flower becomes purple. Agar hum isko selfing karenge, the F1 generation ko, so these are the possible gametes that we have and this is a Punnett square. Punnett square mein hamesha vertical side pe hum female ko represent karte hain aur horizontal side pe hum male gametes represent karte hain. So these, there would be the similar type of gametes in both male and female and these are the various combinations we get. How do we get this combination? Capital C, capital C, capital P and capital P. Is wale ko aur if you cross this, then you will get this genotype. Similarly, if you cross this gamete from this gamete, then you will get this genotype. Milega. So this is how a Punnett square is built up. And if we see the Punnett square here, in the first block, if you see, the all four alleles, they are dominant. And the genes ke alleles are dominant, hai, hence the color is purple. Similarly, here you have both the genes in the dominant copy. So the color is purple. Here, if you see the capital C and capital P. So each allele of the two genes is dominant and hence the color is purple. If you see this genotype, here only one gene is in the dominant copy. The second gene is in the recessive copy. So alone the gene will not produce the color and hence the color of the flower is white. Again here if you see there is the second gene and its allele which is in the dominant copy. Howsoever it is not complemented by this gene which is in recessive copy. So the color of the flower is white here. Or yahan pe kyunki charo ki charo alleles recessive copy mein hai to the color of flower is white. Hence in the uh, complementary gene trait, jo ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 Mendelian ratio hai, 
वो नहीं मिलती हमें रेशियो मिलती है नाइन इज टू सेवन अगर हम इसको बायोकेमिकली एक्सप्रेस करें एक्सप्लेन करें तो एंजाइम सी एंड एंजाइम पी विच आर कोडेड बाय दीज जीन्स राइट दी जीन इट कोड्स फॉर वन एंजाइम सिमिलरली द जीन पी इट कोड्स फॉर अ सेकेंड एंजाइम सो देर इज अ प्रिकॉसर विच इज अ कलरलेस प्रिकॉसर If this is catalyzed by the uh, enzyme, which is the translation product of the C gene, so this would be converted into an intermediate product, which which is again white. Now this intermediate product is catalyzed by another enzyme, which is the translation product of the dominant P gene. Then you get a anthocyanin purple colored. pigment which is only and only possible when both the genes the gene c and the gene p they are active that means both of them are in the dominant state they express to form their respective enzymes and the reaction is being catalyzed completely to generate a purple colored pigment so this is the complementary trait the inheritance between two non uh, in between two interallelic genes which are present on the different chromosome when both of them are present in the dominant strain then only they bring a phenotypic expression alone they do not produce that trait thank you